so welcome back to another video um, this is a very long uh, test um, this is a three-year light fast test it started in June 2014 until June 2017 um, this is then taken out of the window and just left for a year it was in the west facing window so obviously not south um, and it really is you know there day and night I have no idea how many hours of, of sunlight or you know it actually took um, but it, it was an interesting experiment from my point of view because there were two really cheap watercolors and I want to just test them out people talk about um, you know the light fastness of, of various colors <coughs> So they've, they've got their ultramarines and they look very similar, their colours. Uh, almost, they probably are the same colour, just manufactured by different people. So we've got the Reeves, watercolours, Reeves, well-known manufacturer. And WH Smith, which is a newsagent chain in the UK, and their watercolours. I just wanted to see what was going to happen with them. We've got PB29 here, ultramarine. We've got PY138, we've got this medium yellow. We've got PB15, we've got Thalo Blue, and we've got a brilliant red, which is PR264, uh, and Rose Madder, which is PR83. And I'm just gonna gonna release what's underneath just to see. I might need to, to grab a knife or something to do that because he's been stuck down either side of these for a long time. So let's just reveal what's underneath and what's happened after three years. Whoops, on a windowsill, if we can get this up. Ah, we can definitely see some changes in this red. There we go. So, not much difference there on the ultramarine. Um, in fact, this looks darker, so it's lighter, so it's obviously changed the color. It was much lighter if you look there. More of a brighter yellow and it's gone sort of dull. The phthalo blue just doesn't look changed at all. Another does this brilliant red. Here again, you can see changes. This has gone lighter, it was darker here with this rose madder. That's what they were calling it a rose madder color, PR83. So, but overall, not bad. Let's have a quick look under here. So, we can see um, this ultramarine nothing at all and this medium yellow has stood up really well it looks very similar to the way it was put on the phthalo the same um, indeed this brilliant red that looks good and the rose matter doesn't really look like anything's particularly changed with those so it looks as if the wh smith watercolor has come out slightly better but i would have expected to see um, on this light fast test more significant changes than that um, as I said three years on the windowsill and uh, that was the results so those paints seem to have done quite well I think next time I do these kinds of tests I'll probably pop that out on the south facing window and uh, see what happens then but anyway just thought I'd share you with that um, remember to subscribe to like, to comment. Take care now and happy painting.